In this video, you will learn how to use midpoint formula to find the midpoint of a line and also how to use it to find one endpoint if the midpoint and the other endpoint of the line is given. Let's start with the definition of the midpoint. Midpoint is a point which divides a line segment into two equal line segments. So let's say I have this line and I have uh, the coordinate of the endpoints. So let's say this endpoint one, endpoint two, I have the X coordinate. So midpoint is the point which divide this line to exactly two equal lines. So let's say here is my midpoint. Say this is my midpoint. So this divide this line into two equal signs. So this part, and this part should be exactly the same. So we are trying to find the coordinate of this point. I'm trying to find the X and Y coordinate uh, for the midpoint. So here is the formula. The formula for midpoint is X1 plus X2 divided by two. That's the X coordinate. And the Y coordinate is Y1 plus Y2 divided by two. So basically what are we doing here is we just trying to find the average of this, the average of the, or the middle of these two points. So that's why this is our formula. Let's do examples. Let's say I have this line. I have the coordinate of the two endpoints. So let's say this is my first point. And this is my second endpoint. So this is my x1, y1. This is x2, y2. I'm trying to find the coordinate of the midpoint. So here is my midpoint, let's say. I want to know what is the coordinate of this point. I'm looking for x and y. So we have to use the midpoint formula. We said midpoint equals x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. All we need to do is to plug in these values into the formula. So midpoint equals x1, which is 4, plus x2, which is negative 2. So 4 plus negative 2 over 2. And the y coordinate is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So y1 is 7 plus y2 is 1 divided by 2. So our midpoint is equals 4 plus negative 2, that's positive 2, divided by 2. And the y coordinate is 7 plus 1, 8, 8 divided by 2. So the final answer is 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. This is the coordinate of our midpoint. So let's do another example. The question says determine the coordinate of the midpoint. Uh, of this two point A and B. So I have two points A and B. I have the coordinates of this two point. I need to find the midpoint. So let's say this is my first point and this is my second point. It doesn't matter. You can choose this as your first point and this as your second point. It doesn't matter. So all you need to do is to write down your midpoint formula and plug in those values. So midpoint equals Again, x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And the y value is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This is our formula. So let's do this. Our midpoint equals x1. Here is x1, which is 5, plus x2, which is negative 4, divided by 2. And y1, which is negative 1, plus y2, which is 7, divided by 2. So our midpoint equals 5 plus negative 4, that's just positive 1 over 2. And the y value is negative 1 plus 7, which is positive 6, divided by 2. So our midpoint is 1 over 2, and 6 over 2 is 3. This is the coordinate of our midpoint. All right, let's move on to a harder question. 
Here is the question. It says find the other endpoint of the line segment with the given endpoint and midpoint. So one of the endpoints and the midpoint is given here, and they ask us to find the other endpoint. So all we need to do here is to use, again, use the midpoint formula first. I write down the formula. Midpoint, we know it's equals to x1 plus x2 over 2. That's the x coordinate. And the y coordinate is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. OK. I have the midpoint, and I have one endpoint. Let's call this point 1. So I say x1, y1. You can call it point 0.2, it doesn't matter. So I have the midpoint, the coordinate of midpoint, which is 3 and 7. Let's write that down. So it's 3 and 7 equals, let's substitute x1 and y1 in the formula. So x1 is 4 plus x2 over 2. And y1 is 6 plus y2 over 2. OK. My midpoint equals to this expression, right? So the x coordinate, I know this is the x coordinate of my midpoint. So this is equals to this, 3, because that is the x coordinate of my midpoint. And I know this is the y coordinate of, the of my midpoint. So this should be equal to this y coordinate of the midpoint so i can set this expression equal 3 and solve for x2 and then set the other e expression equal 7 and solve for y2 and let's do that so i can say 4 plus x2 divided by 2 this is just equals 3 right now we have to solve this expression I want to get rid of the 2, so multiply both sides by 2. I'll just do that. I want to multiply both sides by 2. Multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2. This 2 and this 2 cancel each other out. So I have 6 on the left side, and on the right side, I have 4 plus x2. I move the constant term to the left side, so I have 6 minus 4 equals x2. So 6 minus 4 is 2, therefore 2 equals x2. That's the x coordinate of my other endpoint. Let's find the y coordinate as well. So the y coordinate, we know this expression should be equal 7. So I write it down. I say 7 equals this expression, which is 6 plus y2 divided by 2. Again, I have to get rid of the fraction. So let's multiply both sides by 2. This 2 cancels this. On the left side, I have 2 times 7, which is 14, equals 6 plus y, 2. Move the constant term to the other side. So 14 minus 6 equals y, 2. 14 minus 6 is just 8. 8 equals y, 2. This is the y coordinate uh, of the other endpoint. So our, the other endpoint is, so the other endpoint is 2 and 8. This is the coordinate of my other endpoint. That's all. Thank you for watching.